you and thanks so much for starting your day with us here on Wake Up America. It is Thursday, Christmas Eve, December the 24th. We just checked in with Santa, courtesy of NORAD, to see uh, his progress on this uh, Christmas Eve day. Good morning to you. I'm Rob Finnerty. All right, just one week is remaining in 2020, and we've got a lot to get through on this December the 24th. Uh, coronavirus vaccines are rolling out nationwide, but numbers continue to grow as a new strand of the virus has made its way across the pond. It has also made its way here to the U.S. And we want to check in with the latest. Uh, Dr. David Samadi is with us, uh, and he's going to have more on uh, this, this new strand. And this has got a lot of people scared. Uh, Dr. Samadi, we had you on earlier in the week, and at that time, really, it was only being reported in a few countries, but we learned this lesson the hard way back in March. Uh, this strand is likely everywhere, including the United States. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. And obviously, we are monitoring this very closely. This is a strand that's detected in England, and, and it seems to be a lot more contagious than the uh, initial COVID-19. But it doesn't seem to be uh, leading to more death, and that's really important. At, at least at this point, uh, the contagiousness is, is, uh, seems to be the one, but it hasn't resulted in more death. So that's really important for people not to panic but still continue to do the hand hygiene and mask and everything else. Yeah. And also, as I speak to more doctors and epidemiologists, they think that this current vaccine that we have should cover either lessen the symptoms or also cover for this new mutant uh, that's out there. Now, these viruses, Rob, they always change their configurations. They always go through mutations. This is a normal process. This is nothing unusual. This is the nature of any virus out there. And a lot of times they might even get weaker. In this case, it seems to be more contagious, but it's so far it hasn't been killing a lot more people. So we're watching this carefully. Um, earlier in the week, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that this new variant, this new strand, this mutant, as you call it, uh, could be 70 percent uh, more contagious. That's a huge number. I don't know how they get to a number like that, but the CDC said that information might not be accurate. But how does that it can't be arbitrary, but how do we come to some number like that, that to me, uh, just a, a regular everyday person, that, that sounds like, whoa, 70 percent more uh, contagious. That's really dangerous. How do they even come up with a number like that? Well, what they're doing is they're looking at the hot spots and the areas where the numbers of these kind of coronaviruses are picking up. For example, there was a time in Brooklyn when we had a big surge of these cases. So they're going to look at those areas and they're going to compare to what we had, for example, in March uh, or April of last year. And they come with approximate statistics. This is not a very accurate science, as you mentioned, but that's what they're coming up with. And then they're looking at the actual virus itself and see if there are some variations of the initial, initial genetic component that we've seen. And that's how they come up with this data. What's important is at this point, there's no reason to really do any travel plan, but we need to be just cautious and watch this. And chances are, that there are already people in the country that have that kind of virus. Yeah. But I think that the uh, good news is that over a million Americans have received this vaccine. The program is going really well. And also one other good statistics, Robert, that for people to know, this is another repetition. Under the age of 65, over 98 percent of people recover and do well. So while we need to be concerned about this and be careful, no reason to panic, and I hope 2021 would be a much better year for all of us. Yeah, and, and on that note, uh, the people that do succumb to this, this terrible virus uh, tend to be over 80 years old and tend to have, in most cases, multiple comorbidities, um, not just one. Uh, in most cases, it's multiple. And now we've got a, a nine-month body of research to look at. You know, I, I thought this would be nice, Dr. Samadi. You know, for so long, uh, many of the other networks have had, in the business, we call them lower thirds or chirons. Um, basically, that's the, the information on the bottom of your TV screen at home. And it's been, you know, the numbers of cases here in the U.S. every single day and the number, uh, the death toll, basically, the number of people that have succumbed. Wouldn't it be nice now to have, instead, the number of people being vaccinated. You just mentioned a million, but that number is literally changing every single hour, every day, including on this Christmas Eve. But wouldn't something like that be a nice way to start 2021 versus what we've had for the last year? You must have uh, read one of my tweets. And of course, we're being censored on Twitter every day, all the right. time. But that's exactly what I said. I said over 40 million people have gotten this virus and they have recovered. Just give us some positive message and positive note for people to know that it, while this is not a great virus and it's been killing like over 300,000 Americans, but look at the millions of people that have recovered 
and have done well and give us some of this positive. Same thing with vaccination, and I totally agree with you. And my guess is that by the time we turn into 2021, more vaccines will come, more immunity. And this word herd, uh, herd immunity is becoming a big taboo. I can't tell you how many people from the other side came for an attack because I mentioned the word herd immunity. This is nothing but if we 50 to 60 percent of our community will get these antibodies and protections, we will be able to win uh, this battle against this uh, virus. And hopefully we can open up our economy and move on. Uh, I, I, yes, sir. I, I did see. I did see that tweet, and I thought you were on to something <laughs> there. Um, and, and hopefully, uh, that does change uh, in seven short days when we enter 2021. Um, I wanted to uh, to talk about this. Basically, we are seeing a very small, and I want to preface this by saying a very small percentage of people have had uh, reactions, allergic reactions, uh, after getting the vaccine. Um, firstly, isn't that very common for? people who are getting vaccinated, a, a tiny percentage, a fraction of a percentage. But that's very common, isn't it? That's correct. And that's an excellent point you're bringing up, Robert, because like, even among healthcare workers in New York, we see that very small percentage of them have come back with like very uh, severe allergic reactions. Now, if 